What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys one of the best Sandstorm combos of all time. We got ourselves a Tyranitar and Garchomp team for ranked regulation age. Now, let's get started here with Garchomp before we talk about Tyranitar. Garchomp over here is rocking Sand Veil as its ability with the Bright Powder as its item, raising its evasiveness in the Sandstorm. So this Pokemon has a decent chance at dodging some attacks when it's in the Sandstorm. So I like that. I definitely like that. Considering every time it dodges a move, we come closer and closer to winning our match. Garchomp is rocking Steel Terror type. It's got Protect. It's got Substitute, which is such a great move if you can pull it off. And then we got Stomp and Cancer for Stab and Rock Slide for our coverage move. Let's talk about the Tyranitar now with Sandstream as ability to set the weather. It's got Focus Sash as item with the Ghost Terror type. And then you got Protect, Low Kick, Rock Slide, and Knock Off. Just such a solid move set for any T Tar build. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Rillaboom, Golden Ghost, Sneasler, and Milotic. Rillaboom and Sneasler pair up together considering Sneasler has Unburdened and the Grassy Seeds, and it has Acrobatics with the Flying Terror type. That adds on to it tremendously. Golden Ghost is going to be a great special attacker with a Life Orb and Nasty Plot, and Milotic is just going to be a great solid back-end Pokemon with haste to deal with any teams that are just boosting their stats up, like maybe like an Alolan Muk team. Yeah, that makes sense. Or a Don Dozo team. Cannot go wrong with Don Dozo. I love hazing those Pokemon. But guys, this is the team. If you guys want to rent it, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Tyranitar and Garchomp in ranked regulation each. First match on its way, and it's so funny how we were talking about Don Dozo in the team preview. We're versing them in match number one, which means I want to bring my boy or my girl. It's actually a girl, Milo Milo. So Milo is definitely coming into today's matchup. Um, they have no weather control, so Titar and Garchomp could be pretty solid here. Definitely could be pretty solid while they set up the uh, the Don Dozo. I actually like that for our lead. So I'm going to go into that lead. I am going to bring Milotic in the back end. And last but not least, do we go in with Rillaboom? I like Rillaboom by itself. I do, so I am going to end up going Rillaboom. Just such a solid Pokemon all around. It really is. Let's see its stats real quick. What you got cooking here? All right, EVs. Okay, boost and attack. So this thing's going to be hitting hard with Wood Hammer. I'm all about it. We're going into it. Why well, just take it out? All right, let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. So Garchomp, Titar are going to be our lead here. We got to watch out for that Dondozo Tatsugiri. Kind of play our cards right and try to get out the Milotic at that right time to haze it up. And then from there, we should be pretty much fine. Hopefully. Hopefully. You never know. They might not even be bringing Dondozo Tatsugiri. Well, there's a high chance that they are, right? Whenever you see it, you're like, okay, I, I got a plan for that. So they're going to end up leading Golden Go and Talonflame. So Tailwind, Make It Rain could easily fly out here right now. Um, hmm. I think that is going to be the play from him. So I think we're just going to go into a... We could go Ghost Tower if we want to, but I'm just going to protect here. And I, I'm just going to go for a Stopping Tantrum and look to just rip up some damage right into this uh, Golden Go. I do have that Steel Terror. However, I don't want to use it. I think we just go into Stopping Tantrum here. I mean, if we steal Terror, then it can just Flare Blitz me. It's just not good. It really isn't. So we'll protect our T-Tar up right here. Don't feel like taking a steal shot. And Will-O-Wisp is going to launch. Okay. Will-O-Wisp from the Talonflame really puts a puts a damper on my party right now. <laughs> a burn is so annoying. A burn is so bad. Stop and catch him. Can we get a crit or something? Not bad damage, but still, it probably would have KO'd, right? That's my whole, whole thing on this one. So we block this. Can we dodge this with a sand veil? We do. Does your attack still drop? It does not. That kind of sucks. Right? That sucks. Now I'm chilling here burned. Um, hmm. I think our best play would just be Terrasalize you and the ghost. I'd probably just launch a rock slide. Because I would think they go for Tailwind. We can take out the Talon Flame and then Garchow can get rid of this. Hopefully get rid of the Golden Go with the, with the rock slide. All right. Let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Because if I can get rid of both these Pokemon, and if they're back-end Pokemons like Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, that would be rather nice for me. That would be rather nice. So we're going to see a Terra type pop out here, most likely from Talonflame, I think. No, it's going to be Golden Go. And they're going to go into a straight Steel type. So he's looking to just do insane amount of damage with Make It Rain. It's kind of stupid how his special attack didn't lower because he didn't land it, technically. But it's all good. We're going to Terrasalize our T-Tar here. I'm hoping T-Tar can just soak up the shot, right? I mean, we have Focus Dash on the Tyranitar. Which is nice. 
Maybe I shouldn't have terrestrialized. Maybe I should have saved it. But the outcome's a tailwind. I figured as much tailwind would fly out here. But yeah, we probably should have just, you know, not terrestrialized and just used our focus ash. And Garchomp dodging again. Let's go. My boy Garchomp's thriving. My boy Garchomp's thriving. But yeah, we didn't have to terrestrialize, but you know it helps. Zombie Tantrum launches. Bop. Great damage. Can Rock Slide pick up the KO on that? I know it's going to KO the Talon Flame all day. And it does KO the Golden Go. That's huge. So no terror for them. We get rid of their front two. They do have Tailwind just chilling here. And from here, we probably just want to see how this one plays out. Could go for like Substitute with Garchomp. If they want to take out my T-Tar. Because I think they're going to go into Dondozo Tatsugiri. That's my guess. That's my theory here. That is my theory here. That's my theory. I should have saved my Terra type, though. I definitely should have saved my Terra. I should have used Focus Ash there. But yeah, it's going to be Tatsugiri, and it's going to be Don Dozo. So they're going to hop out here. We got to get our Haze Chance here. And I think our best bet, to be honest, to be honest right now, our best bet is to probably just start wasting out these Tailwind turns as well. So I think we want to go for a Protect with, with T-Tar, because I think they want to take out T-Tar. If I had to guess. I think they want to take out T-Tar. They don't have Terra, and I still have Rollaboom, which is great news. But I think my best bet here is just to, like try to go for a knockoff for the item. Actually, no, 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 no. We're going to protect T-Tar because I think they kind of want to take it out. I don't think they're worried too much about Garchomp. And we'll go for a substitute here. Try to set up a sub. I think they want to go after T-Tar because the only double-hitting move that Dondozo could have would be Earthquake. And there is a possibility that it uses it, but I don't know. It is EQ. Okay, never mind. So... Check didn't really do much. I mean, it probably brings Garchomp low enough where it can't go for a substitute. I hope it can. That'd be really nice. And dude, he's just dodging everything. He's just dodging everything. I feel so bad for our opponent. He's just like, Garchomp's just dodging everything. Two make it rains and EQ. Let's go. Have a day. Have a day. Dondo's going to take a little bit of buffets. Tatsugiri's going to take a little bit of buffets. And my T-Tar. I think it's always so funny when T-Tar takes buffet damage. It's always so funny. Because it's just like, dude, you set the sandstorm. Now you terrestrialize, you just take a damage. But now we're chilling here. Um, again, if I can go for a knockoff, I would love to go for a knockoff. So I'm going to do that. And I am going to go for... I mean, Stomping Tantrum will do more damage. So I might as well go for it. I could have protected the Garchomp, but really no point. Earthquake's going to fly here. And Tatsugiri is going to dodge. Titar's going to die. Can that sub soak it? Like, hopefully this doesn't fade. It does fade. So it is going to fade out. We are going to bring out Milo, Milo. We're going to get rid of the stat changes this turn. And we're just going to play it slow because, again, they have no Terra. We have Rollaboom late game. If I can just get rid of the stat changes, take care of the Sandozo, we can really get cooking. So that burn early on kind of did us dirty. Wow, we did like negative five damage there. That was embarrassing. But the burn early on did us dirty, but we're kind of bouncing back here with a few lucky dodges. I'm not going to lie, but a few also good plays from us. The Sandozo is going to be left there, but let's get out the Milo here. I knew I brought the Milo for a good reason. Milo, Milo. Get on out here. Milo's gonna fly here. It can't really do much except for haze, but we need it to haze. We need it to haze. And we're gonna send it. And from here, I mean, I, I guess we'll go for Stopping Tantrum. I guess. I'd rather, honestly, Garchomp just die. So I'm kind of hoping he just attacks it with like Wave Crash or, or hits it with, uh, what is it, Order Up. That's really what I'm hoping. I hope, I'm hoping he goes for order up. He gets a stat boost and I just take it all away and then I bring out Rillaboom. Rilla, Rillaboom. With Wood Hammer. Yeah, we like we, these stat changes need to go. They need to go. He's going to end up wave crashing here. Into Milotic, who actually takes a huge chunk of damage. A bit too much damage. I eat up a berry. We can eat up another wave crash, which is good. I'm going to say bye bye to all these stat changes. So he really wants to just get rid of Milo. I think that's his whole play. Stomping Tantrum is going to fly. Dude, like, it's hitting like an absolute paper towel. It's literally doing nothing. It's literally doing nothing. Sandstorm's gone. Um, And from here, I think we just swap Garchomp. I think he really wants to get rid of Milo. I think he's not worried about Garchomp at all. There goes that. The Tailwind's gone as well. I think we swap our Garchomp. I really do, and maybe we try to go for a freeze. Like, we're not doing much here. I, mean, I could go for a burn. 
A burn would be nice. Yeah, we're gonna go for a burn. I'm not gonna swap in the roll boom. I got the assault vest. I mean, it really does nothing except for up against Tatsugiri. So let's get rid of this Garchomp. It's just, it's just doing nothing at this point. And we're gonna go into roll boom. All stat changes are gone, which is great. Get to bring him out. Grassy Surge flying. And Scald's gonna launch. Can we get a burn? Burn would be awesome. Burn would be just amazing. No, an order up's gonna fly in this slot. So yeah, good swap on my end. I figured he would want to try to get rid of Milo. And we're outspeeding him now, which is really good news. Really good news. Now the question is, is Rillaboom outspeeding him? That's the biggest question. That's the biggest question, because I can get rid of him no problem with this one shot right here. Rillaboom, are you outspeeding? You might not. You might not. Um... You might not. You know what? I'm just going to protect you because I think you want to get rid of Milo. I'm just going to go for that wood hammer here. I'm just going to look at KO this Dondozo in the terrain. So protect flying out from Milo. He could be going for protect with Dondozo thinking we're faking out. And he does. I, I should have kind of read that. I should have read that. Now do we think that Grassy Glide and Skull can KO? I think there's a hot chance at that. So I'm going to go for that. I really don't want this thing getting off an attack. I kind of want to turn this into a 2v1 here. Kind of a 3v1 with Garchomp, but... But I'm going to go for Grass God. I'm going to go for Grass God. I mean, Woodhammer could get the job done, but... You know, screw it. We're just going to play it safe. We're going for Woodhammer here. Are we? Yeah, we're going for Woodhammer. We're going for Woodhammer. Send it. Send it. Send a Woodhammer. Send wood. Send it. Okay, we're out speeding regardless. So that's good. So Woodhammer's just going to finish you off. Cool, turn us into a 2v1. Um, I don't have Terra, but Rillaboom has the Assault Vest, which is great. And he's going to get back a little bit of HP here. He'll get back a little bit of HP. It's kind of weird that Tatsugiri takes Buffet damage, but it doesn't get Terrain HP back during his turns. I think that's kind of funny. But we'll go for Ice Beam. I'm going to end up Grassy Guide in here because Tatsugiri is fast and has a chance to just KO me. So I'd rather get off some damage right now. And they just cancel match. They don't even take the shot with Tatsugiri. GG's solid first match. What a hot start for your boy starting off 1-0 with Garchomp. That thing got burned, but it was dodging moves left and right, so I can't be mad at it. We're going up against another T-Tar team with one of the most oddest, weirdest Pokemon of all time, Minor, right? Minor? Is that how you pronounce it? I believe so, but it's like this little, like, galaxy star. And honestly, I really don't know what it does, but I'm pretty sure it thrives out in Sandstorms because it is a rock type. We're going to have to watch out for that. But I would still like Garchomp. I still like T-Tar here. I think that's a solid lead for us considering we can low kick their T-Tar. Rock Slide could do respectable damage onto a few of their Pokemon. Then we got like Stomping Tantrum and other stuff to kind of deal with it. But I like that. And I could just go like Rollaboom and Sneasler for late game play. I do... Oh yeah, I'm down for that. I do like that. So we're going to have double combo here. We're going to go with T-Tar, Garchomp. And then late game, we're going to go Rillaboom, Sneasler. Which I love Sneasler with the Grassy Seeds. I just think it's so good. I really do. Not even just grassy seeds, just with any type of seeds and getting rid of them. So like either psychic seeds or grassy seeds or even electric seeds, but you don't see electric seeds. I feel like you've seen electric seeds in, what was it? Regulation G where me ride on was legal and that worked out really well. But seeds are just so powerful. It hits like an absolute truck. And then when you unburden it with the seeds, it will get like a defense boost and then it'll be super fast. So just can't go wrong with it. And then it could fake out, have multiple different moves, poison fighting, and it usually rocks a... Flying move. We're using acrobatics. I couldn't even think of it. So yeah, acrobatics doubles its damage as well with no items. So come on, man. Dude, Sneasler's just got it all. And then you got Flying Terror on top of that. Like, what more can you ask for? But hot start for us. Knocking out that Dondozo. Milotic came in clutch. I knew we were going to need that Pokemon. Hades just works so perfectly. They're going to send out Minior. That's how you pronounce it, not Minor. Minior. Shiny Minior looks so dope. And he's going to intimidate me. Oh, dude, that's a Big time intimidate. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. So shields down. I don't really know what this thing does. Shields down activate. Um, I just want to. Do I double swap here? I might just double swap. I actually would rather swap Sneasler into this slot. I'm going to double swap here. That was just solid for them. 
That was just a solid. I'd rather just double swap here. I'm gonna go double swap. There's a chance that Lake Trick can be just flying into Garchomp slot, so which is why I want Bullaboom over here. With the Assault Vest. I'm kinda hoping one of them just like protects or something. Cause that Intimidate was just so big. It's a bad start for us for this one. Just a great lead from them. I'm gonna swap Rillaboom over here. And I'm gonna swap a nice little Sneasler into the other slot. So grassy terrain out and about. And Sneezer are going to come out here. Hopefully one of them is protecting. That would be nice, but I doubt it, right? I doubt it. My nose is itching. So Sneezer comes out here. Rillaboom comes out here. And we're going to grass seed up, which is decent. Nice little defense boost. Not too sure what Minior does. We're going to see a Terra pop out from them. So if I had to guess, Salman's going to Terrasilize. Yep. Going into what? What you got cooking in there? Straight Steel. Okay. I mean, I can close combat that down. I can close combat that down all day. Minior's gonna go for an indoor. What are you rocking here? What's your plan here? Tailwind. Okay, so that's actually not a bad swap for us. I mean, Sneasler still has a chance to, to outspeed. And I can look to close combat. I mean, Buffett's gonna kind of annoy me. When I get I get my uh, HP back, which is nice. Okay, so. I think just going for close combat here is going to be the play. Close combat, and I just would hammer down this mi Minior. Instead of faking it out, I'm cool with that. There's a chance that, like, Salamence protects. And Minior's just going to go for a double indoor. That's fine. Close combat's going to launch. We do outspeed. This should KO. Yeah, Sneasel hits like a truck. So the double swap turn one worked great for us. It worked great, and now we're just sitting in a good position. We got rid of their Intimidate user. We have our Sandstorm users in the back end. Who can't be intimidated now because they have no more intimidate users. And Minior is about to take a Woodhammer to the face. Eevee's all invested into attack as well. Woodhammer popping in the terrain. Bye bye. Cool. Get out. Get on out of here. So I was scared of that Pokemon this whole time. I was like, what does this thing do? And they never got a chance to show it. They went for a double indoor, which doesn't work. It fails. It fails out. But they do have Tailwind set up. That is something I do have to watch out for because if they have a faster Pokemon, Sneasler won't outspeed. But Sneasler can outspeed most in the Tailwind, as you guys can just just seen there. Alright, so we got Rillaboom, I can Grassy Glide, and it's going to be Titar, so I'm not too worried about Titar. And they don't have Terra, which is great news for us. Titar and Volcarona come out here. I'd rather get rid of this Volcarona with Acrobatics, in all honesty. So I'm going to Acrobatics this slot, and if I can, I honestly would just like to U-turn out into my own Titar, and save Rillaboom for later. I'm going to go for that. I'm gonna go for that. If I can just land an Acrobatics, we pretty much just win this game, right? Because it should KO. It's not Stab, but it is super effective. It is double damage because we don't have an item. I could have Terrasilized, but I didn't want to waste my Terra if he's just gonna outspeed me. So I'm with this. Honestly, I think Sneasel will outspeed. I know it outspeeds a Titar. I'm not sure about Volcarona. But there is a chance that T-Tar also protects after just seen his close combat. But we're outspeeding Acrobatics in a fight. Acrobatics doesn't KO. Which we do not like. Which we do not like. No bueno. Not good. Can I get Sneasler for one more turn? That's the real question. Fiery Dance gonna launch. And that is gonna go into the Sneasler. So they wanna get rid of this thing. They're probably gonna double down with Rock Slide. Knock off. And I survive. But Buffets are gonna KO me. No! U turn does respectable damage. I can bring out my T Tar now. And I think I could just Terrasilize and low kick and win this game. And I can bring back out Robin if I want to. But I'm just going to go into T Tar. Tatar coming out here. We love it. So Buffett's going to take out Caesar. If I had Caesar for one more turn, that would have been nice. I was kind of expecting him to protect. I could have just close combat KO the T-Tar and then just like... Then just won the game the next turn, but... I didn't want to take the off chance that they were going to... That they were going to not protect, so... That's fine with me. So now go in the Garchomp, T-Tar, get this combo back out rolling. So, beginning of the game, we were just straight up intimidated. It was pretty much like, oh, dude, we're in the dog speed. Double swapped at the right time. It was actually perfect. And we're thriving out here now. So I'm just going to go for Rock Slide to pick up the KO onto... Onto what's it called. It's weird that Rock Slide's just neutral against Titar. 
and I'm just gonna go for low kick, but I'm gonna end up terrestrializing slashing you because if you have low kick, you're gonna outspeed me and probably just KO me. So I'd rather terrestrialize, slash, hit this low kick, and then potentially just win this game because Rock Slide's gonna kill Volcarona. Um, low kick should be able to KO Titar, or if not, do a respectable amount of damage. But all I need is pretty much one KO here, because then Rillaboom can kind of just like clean up this mess. Awesome. Titar Garchomp. One of the best answer combos. Not my favorite, but one of the best. My favorite is actually Titar Excadrill. I like Excadrill a little bit better than Garchomp. I know I might get a lot of hate for that. I might get a lot of hate for that. Because I know Garchomp is just an absolute fan favorite. Everybody loves Garchomp. I love Garchomp. Don't get me wrong, but I like Excadrill just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. But Quiver Dance going to fly through. He's just going to boost his stats. I think it's like a last ditch kind of effort. You're going to need to dodge a Rock Slide in order to win this. And their T-Tar is going to go for a knockoff here. Okay, I mean, that's fine by me. It actually does a good chunk of damage. Taking away my Bright Powder, though. And Rock Slide, who's dodging it? Oh, no, not Volcarona. I needed Volcarona to die there. Low Kick should finish you off, though. And it does. And, and now we can just double down with Rock Slide. We should be fine. Unless Heat Wave's going to double KO, but I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Unless I got the Sash, don't I? Unless Terrain ends. No, Terrain shouldn't end. Okay, cool. So I still have the Sash. So all I have to do is land a Rock Slide. That's all I got to do. That's all I got to do. All I got to do. Tailwind's gone. All I got to do is land a Rock Slide. Honestly, I was going to say Garchomp might outspeed, but not with that Quiver Dance boost. All I got to do is land a Rock Slide. For the win... He's gonna go for Struggle Bug. <laughs> Garchomp dodges it too. My dude. What a goat. Struggle Bug. Definition of this match. Struggling and bugging. Rock Slide's gonna launch. That's game set match. We're sitting 2-0 dominating with this team. So guys, we're hopping into our third and final match and we're going up against Garchomp. We went up against T-Tar in the last match. Now we're going up against Garchomp in our third and final and we're looking for a perfect record. They also have King Gambit. They got Lola Nine Tails. They got Full Corona. Boom, and last but not least, Primarina. Now, honestly, I kind of like the lead of just these two. Sneasler, Rolboom. Works out perfectly well for us. And then we can bring T-Tar Garchomp in the back end. So kind of a reverse play that we did in the last match. I really like that because one Sneasler and Rolboom are a great lead combo. You can fake out, you do big time damage. And on top of that, they have Ninetales. So having the weather in the back end is way better for us than leading it because if we lead it and they go nine tails in the back end then they can just swap the weather and kind of get control but since we have it in the back end we can swap and try to gain control ourselves so our whole plan is to just not let him set up a war veil and i think we should be fine with that i think we should be fine with that hopefully could get rough they could win the weather you never know you never know but we're playing so good right now two and oh already guaranteed ourselves to win the record would love to grab ourselves a perfect record right now. But this seems really good for like all different situations, as you guys can tell. Weather teams you can counter. Don Dozo teams you can counter. Any team that stat boosts you can counter. I think this team is just all around really good. I highly recommend writing this team if you want to push up ranks. But they're going to go Garchomp and Rillaboom here. Not bad. Fake out for fake out. Let's see whose Grassy Surge actually flies. And I think that's theirs? Or is that mine? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure who Grassy Surge that was. <laughs> I really have no idea. Let me check my speed stat. My speed stat's kind of low. He probably outspeeds me. I could fake out with my Sneasler. I could fake out with my Sneasler. I could just protect. Actually, I don't have fake out with my Sneasler. I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to protect and try to U-turn Pivot out of here. So Protect comes out for my Sneezy. There's a chance that they could go for, like, Stomping Tantramere. Yep, there it is. Blocked. Blocking it, baby. Blocking it big time. Big time blocks. He's going to U-turn pivot before I can U-turn pivot. Great minds think alike, though. And who's he going to go into here? Maybe Ninetales? That would be awesome if you go into Ninetales. Then I could just change up weather. King Gambit's going to come out here. All right. I see you. I feel you. I understand. Now I'm just going to U-turn out of here. So I'm going to U-turn out of here. I'm going to bring out... Did I bring out T-Tar? I'm going to bring out Garchomp of my own. Just because Soppy Tantric would do big time damage into their King Gambit. So I go into my own Garchomp. There's a chance they can Dragon Claw me. But I think they want to go after my Sneasler, to be honest. I really do. 
And honestly, just because of that, I might try to set up a sub. No, you know what? We're just gonna give him a stomping tantrum. Play it safe, play it smart. We're gonna terrestrialize you. And we're just gonna rip an ac acrobatics into this Garchomp slot. You know, he knows we can't protect anymore. I could I could have swapped into Roll Boom. But I like this right now, considering Garchomp's gonna outspeed their King Gambit. I don't think they're gonna go for a Dragon Claw. I think they wanna stick with Stomping Tantrum here. There's a chance that their King Gambit could protect. Maybe I should have protected my Garchomp. Just played it safe. But we're going into Sneasel here. We're looking to rip some damage. And we're gonna see a Terra type pop out from them too. I think King Gambit's gonna get the Terra. I'm hoping it's Garchomp. It is Garchomp. Oh, that's good. What you got? Fire. That's not bad. So Acrobatic's still gonna do nice damage. Probably thinks I'm going for Dragon Call into that slot when in reality I'm going after their Garchomp or their their other Pokemon. And Acrobatic's gonna launch here. Acrobatics. Great damage. Half. We KO it next shot. Rough skin's gonna chip us up a little bit. Go for Stopping Tantrum. You do. That is huge. That is huge. Big time terror for us. Our Stopping Tantrum can now launch. Will this KO? Does not. But still, another Sucker Punch will not KO us. And my Sneasel outspeeds the Garchomp. So if Garchomp wants to attack here, we can just dump on it. We can just dump on it. So I'm gonna go for another Stopping Tantrum. Actually. Could just go for Rock Slide here. Now we're, we're just gonna play it safe. Stomping Tantrum into Acrobatics. Keep it safe. And Garchomp's gonna protect the look to get back a little bit of HP. That's fine. You going for Sucker Punch here, King Gambit? Yeah, you're gonna deal some damage to my Sneasler. That's fine. Deal some damage to my Sneasler. Acrobatics gonna get blocked. <clears throat> and from here, Garchomp is just gonna KO the King Gambit. Alright, so King Gambit, gone. Get it on out of my face. Get it on out of here. So we know they have Rillaboom. We don't know their final Pokemon. I think they want to bring back out Rillaboom just for the fake out presence here. And if that's the case, I think we honestly just go into Double Protect. Yeah, I think Double Protect is easily our play. I'm going to Double Protect here. I could make the read that they're going after Sneasler. That's kind of obvious. It is kind of obvious, but I'd rather just play it smart. Considering we have a lead, let's Double Protect. Let's double protect. They're definitely going after Sneezer with this. They're de they definitely are. But again, I really don't want to get ahead of myself and try to make a read and just lose the game. So double protect is just a simple smart play. Let's see. Let's see if I was right. Let's see if I was right. Fake out the Sneezer. I told you. Are you Dragon Calling into Garchomp or are you double down in Sneezer? Dragon Call into Garchomp, right? Okay, yeah, so double protect was easily the right call. Easily the right call. So from here, I'm actually very tempted to just Acrobatics roll boom. I really am. And you know what? I'm gonna do that. I could close combat with that KO. But this is double damage. Actually, close combat probably KOs. Yeah, screw it. We're going for acrobatics in the roll boom. Screw it. If you want to swap it, you can swap. It's just gonna protect guard chomp. That's fine. That's fine. Protect on the chomp. Acrobatics into Rillaboom, gonna KO it all day long. All day long. Bye bye, Rillaboom. We get to know their final Pokemon. If it is a low in Ninetales, we can just swap, take weather. Like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. Like I said, yo, Sneasler's the real deal. Sneasler is the real deal. Just such a strong Pokemon. Gets work done. Just gets work done. It really does. Now we're getting back a ton of HP. Grassy Train does end. I could bring it back out if I want to. Which we might. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. It's going to be Primarina, which I don't mind dealing with. I don't mind dealing with Primarina. I really don't. But now that what's called is... Lower on HP. Actually, I could just... I could just protect Garchomp this turn. Which I am going to do. I'm just going to protect Garchomp this turn. Yeah. We're just going to protect Garchomp. And at this point, we're just going to go for close combat. Because it's going to do a bit more damage than Acrobatics. And we, we do have a shot at KO in here. Let's see. We do. Awesome. GG's. Thanks for playing. Yo, this team's amazing. This team is insanely strong. This team is so strong. And we protect the Garchomp just in case that Garchomp survived and went to go for a Dragon Call. Because if I had to guess, he's probably going for Dragon Call into our Garchomp and then like Hyper Voice just to clean up the Sneasler. Yeah, there it is.
The Sneasel's gonna die out here. We're just gonna bring out Robo and we're just gonna win the game. They're gonna cancel it once they see Robo. But oh my lord, this team. This team was absurdly strong. Countering everything he came across. Everything. Just the double combos. The weather combo is so strong, and then you got the Sneasel to Robo combo. We didn't get a chance to use uh, Golden Go today, but hey, I mean, you guys see Golden Go all the time. This ain't, this ain't your guys' first rodeo. It's not your first rodeo. So from here, we're going in Robo. I think they're gonna cancel. We're gonna fake out though, just in case. And we're gonna deal some damage with Stomp and catch him, and then we can just grassy glide away to victory, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. We go for Stomp and catch him. We'll go for fake out. Are they canceling? Actually, might not. I mean, throat spray sitting here. They do end up protecting. All right, I see you. I understand. We got grassy train. We're getting our HP back. I wonder if you go for Moonblast into Garchomp. Like, what's your play here? But I'm definitely gonna go for Wood Hammer. I'm definitely just gonna Woodhammer KO you. Or do I play it safe with Grassy Glide? What do I do? I have the Assault Vest. I say we just play it safe with Grassy Glide. I would think you're going for a Moon Blast here. I'm just gonna play it safe with Grassy Glide. Protect your Garchomp too. We protect Garchomp. I think you want to go for Moon Blast. I really do. And Grassy Glide gonna launch. This might still KO. It doesn't, but it's a safe play. And there's the Moonblast block. So just another read for the cherry on top. Thanks for playing. I could have went for Woodhammer, but... It's all good. It's all good. We'll make that read all day. So we'll spam A. Actually, would rather switch to Stomp and catch instead of spamming A. But we'll grass guide again. That's what I meant. And we'll finish the match. So battle's canceled. 3-0, a perfect record on the channel. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best teams I use for ranked regulation H. Like I said, if you guys want to rent this team, I highly recommend it. Rent the code is at the top right hand corner. We are top 2000 masters here and we went three and oh, so it's like this team can do it all. It really can. You got T-Tar, you got Garchomp, you got Rillaboom and Sneasel, you got Milotic to deal with like Don Dozos like you've seen in today's video and then Golden Go, which we didn't get to use today, but you guys already know what it's doing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.